Hey everybody, it's Jorik. Welcome back. I hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. Have you ever thought about traveling to Luxembourg? Do you know where Luxembourg is? It doesn't show up in many travel publications or maybe on your suggested feeds as a top place to go. But here in Europe, it is what I think is a hidden gem tucked between some more popular tourist countries. And I'll tell you, there's two reasons why I think you should go to Luxembourg. And the first one is its location. So let's go to the map. Luxembourg as a country. Now there's the city of Luxembourg, but there's also the country of Luxembourg. It's tucked in here where France is to the south, Germany is to the east, and Belgium is to the west and to the north. What's really cool about this is that you are so close. You are an hour from Metz, France. You are about an hour and a half from Sauerbruck in Germany. Uh, you're an hour from Trier, uh, Germany. You're about 45 minutes to Bastogne, Belgium. So that's famous uh, World War II uh, Battle of the Bulge uh, area. Um, you're also, uh, when you're in Belgium, you're also close to some fantastic Trappist uh, breweries as well, some uh, monasteries. So its geography is excellent. And what's interesting is we meet people from France, Germany, and Belgium, and we say, hey, so have you been to Luxembourg? And they're going, no. So it, it doesn't market itself uh, for tourism. Luxembourg city itself is a beautiful city to go explore. So I would highly recommend going because of one, it's easy to get to. The city itself is fantastic. Because of the proximity to Germany, Belgium, and France, you could visit four countries legitimately in a week and take day trips into France, uh, Belgium, and Germany, and give a good feel for the place. So the number one reason to go is the geography of where Luxembourg is. But number two, and it's a real reason I made this video, is that all public transportation throughout the country in Luxembourg is free. And that's right, free. If you're taking a train or if you're taking a bus anywhere in the country, free. You're not paying anything. So it's so easy to get, for example, in Luxembourg City, from the airport into the downtown area and back to the airport. You don't have to worry about looking for change or bills or anything. You just get on the bus. Trains getting in and around the country is fantastic and free. Now there is a caveat here, and I want to make sure that I say this during this video, is that if you are going to take a train from Luxembourg into Paris, into Belgium, into Germany, so inter, um, there is a fee for that. So you aren't able to travel from, let's say, Luxembourg to Bastogne, Belgium, or Trier, Germany, or Metz, France uh, for free. Um, so it'll, it may be a reduced ticket, but as opposed to, let's say, if you're in France, Belgium, or Germany and getting the same train or bus ticket to and from Luxembourg, but anywhere within the country, it's free. But when you're going outside the country, there are fees for those trains and bus tickets. So I want to make sure that you're aware of that. But it's amazing to be able to go anywhere in the country and not pay for the public transportation. That is something that, I mean, more countries, uh, from what I understand, Luxembourg's a, a very uh, wealthy country, so they can afford to do that. But it may be something that other countries may want to look at down the road. It's a small country, it's easy to get around, it's very compact, the roads are good, so if you decide that you don't want the free transportation, you wanna get a rental car, more power to you, but I would highly recommend using the public transportation because it's free, it's free and it gets you everywhere. And again, the geography, um, Metz, France, and then that also puts you about an hour away when you're in Metz uh, to Reims, France, which is like uh, Champagne country. So it's fantastic. And if you want old Roman ruins, Trier, Germany, great place to go. Also in the winter time, if you want a Christmas market, which are very popular here throughout Europe, that's not necessarily um, on the well-beaten path like a, a Strasbourg or certain Cologne, Germany, some places that are more popular and packed, I would recommend Luxembourg City's Christmas market. And you can also, if you want to experience other ones, um, train down to Metz, go to a Christmas market in France, 
train up to Trier or our bus to Trier or Sauerbrücken and go to the Christmas markets in Germany. So you get a lot of options in this very small area, which is fantastic. And again, free public transportation. So don't can't beat it. If Luxembourg was not on your list of ever going to a place, um, I would try to get there and make sure you use the public transportation. And when you look at it on the map and see how close it is to everything, maybe that becomes your base for a trip to Europe somewhere down the road. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the channel and enjoy your travels.